So we are in the parking area. Um, I'm going to spin you around here a little bit so you can see behind you. They just redid this parking area, I believe, last year. Made it much bigger and much nicer. And then behind me here is the park office. You can see Fran back there. We've parked her in a public area. Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen here with Wandering Out Yonder. And today we are down near Thurmont, Maryland at Catoctin State Park. Catoctin Mountain Park. Yeah, this is a national park, yes. right? Yes. And the Cunningham Falls Park. State um, Park. It's a state park. It runs right next to it. Yeah, they're they're kind of the same park, but they're not. They're separate. Yeah. Yeah. Catoctin is national. Cunningham Falls is state. Right. Anyhow, that's where we're at today. We are going to be taking a loop trail, about five miles or so, four and a half. Um, we're going to be taking you over to Cunningham Falls and then heading north and up a mountain <laughs> to the Hogs Rock area. Then the Blue Ridge Summit Trail will loop us back around to where we've parked Fran over at the park office. So anyhow, we're going to take you guys along with us today and share uh, some pretty views and a beautiful area. So we hope you'll come along. Alrighty, so as you can see, Shannon is pointing to where we are, right mm -hmm. there. And she's going to show you we're going to be taking the Cunningham Falls Trail. This is all yellow blaze. That's right. Late. So it will take us over to the falls. We'll get right. the view of the falls. Which is there. And then we'll right. come back out and we will head up the mountain. Right. To the Hog Rock Overview. Right. And then we will continue on up to the Blue Ridge Summit Vista. And then come back down the mountain on Jelly Legs to the Visitor Center where we left Fran. Right. So we were kind of contemplating the best way to do this. And there really isn't an easier way. You're going to go up a mountain. Either way you go. So, here we go. So, happy December, everybody. I'm pretty close to Christmas. And there is a beautiful day today. We thought we would take advantage of the last of probably what's going to be some nice weather for a bit. Supposed to get up to 60? Yeah. 61? Uh, that's where we live. We're south of where we live, so it might get a little bit warmer here. But next week, we are looking at possible snow yeah so we're like mm, we need to get outside while the sun is out the weather's nice and take advantage of this so that's what we're doing today but as you can see beautiful forest that you can see through I love that so as you can see we are following a yellow blaze and this part of the trail over to Cunningham Falls from where we started a little bit of up and down, not terrible. Um, but we will come to a point up here where we'll make a left. Um, we'll follow it down to the falls. reached juncture in the trail all right so here at this juncture we are going to be going left and cutting a hand falls is just across the road over there we'll be taking a boardwalk to see the falls when we come back go to the left that takes you over there to the falls when we come back we'll just be going straight up the mountain here and near as I can tell it is just kind of straight up. There are no switchbacks, none of that. So it'll be a bit of a hike up there for us. And according to this sign, Hog Rock will be one mile. And then from Hogs Rock, we will be taking the uh, Blue Ridge Summit Trail, I believe. So when we get there, I'll share that with you. Okay, so this particular trail runs along the, the highway that goes through Catoctin and the Cunningham Falls area. You can see that's the major road right there. And it's really noisy sometimes because there's a lot of traffic that goes through here. People that cut through from Maryland over to Pennsylvania. It's a good cut through area. Um, 
and with the leaves down it's a lot more noisy so we're hoping that once we're hiking up the mountain that noise will go away but yet yeah, a little bit noisy today so again at the bottom here getting ready to cross over the major road you can see we're going across over here this is the major road and here at Cunningham Falls they have handicap parking down here that takes you directly to the boardwalk and it is for handicapped only it used to be available to anyone and they had a few handicapped parking spaces but I think now it is all handicapped parking so if you want to come see Cunningham Falls you have to hike up here to see it or find somewhere else to park your car for us it's not no brain. We'll just hike over to it. Okay, and so this is kind of a boardwalk trail that takes you over to the falls. And it is wheelchair accessible, handicap accessible. And they have roped off this area because they are trying to restore the forest through here. Because it used to be that people would walk all over the place out here and it eventually started damaging the forest so they have asked people to stop doing that not that they don't they still do it but all right this is new to us we haven't seen this Yay. how long has it been since we've been here a year probably so anyhow it's an eastern hemlock restoration area wonderful yeah, so you can see they've that's what's that's Yay. what's being fenced off for these hemlocks that they're trying to restore out here. Hemlock so that's cool. Yep, hemlock seedings are being planted in the area. Yay! And again, they ask you to stay on the boardwalk here. Unfortunately, just about every time we've ever been here, we see people all over the place out here not really paying attention to that it's kind of sad but anyway it's a beautiful area and this boardwalk is really nice so not a difficult ask if you ask me we're kind of getting our first glimpse of the falls as you can see way out there in the creek that runs down from it pretty isn't it pretty and it kind of splits the creek does it goes to the right and the left uh oh someone's put a christmas wreath out here <laughs> very festive look at that oh yeah we reached the end of the boardwalk as you can see there's like a platform here with benches that have been donated you can see the other boardwalk over there in the viewing area but again they ask you to not cross over these uh, walls of the boardwalk it's kind of a boundary area but you will see people climbing all over the place out here you can see the falls start way at the top there trying to get those in the video here for Again, as I said, they ask people not to climb on the rocks or go past these boardwalk areas, but you can see ahead of you, there are two people that are out there climbing on the rocks. It's very tempting, and I understand why people do it, but I also know that they're trying to restore this area. So, anyhow, it is beautiful no matter what. So we are heading back. We just visited Cunningham Falls. And just so you know, it's the tallest cascading fall in, in the state of Maryland. Can't remember how many feet it is. 78, Seven, I think. 78, mm -hmm. that's it. I think so. 
Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's a pretty falls and it was a nice walk. So we're heading back now. We're going to be going up to Hogs Rock. Straight up the mountain. Yep. It's like a frogger game. It's a mile straight up <laughs> from Cunningham Falls. We came from way down there at the bottom. And it is a mile straight up to Hogs Rock. Ooh. So Shannon and I just finished that hike up. Was it too terrible? Shannon, show her. Show them your Garmin. Mm. So that was the I don't know if you can see a 714 foot. And I did start it late. Yeah. Probably a, I would say we've done about 800 feet ascent. Yeah. So anyhow, it was straight up. They don't believe in switchbacks around here or in Pennsylvania, <laughs> just so you know, if you ever come hiking here. But we are at Hog Rock and you can see, look at that view. That's a really pretty view up here. Shannon, I've been here a few times. Pretty. So we have just left the Hogs Rock Overlook and this trail will eventually take us back to the parking lot, the Hogs Rock parking lot for this trail. And then you will cross over and we'll be doing the, what's it called Shannon? The Vista Trail? New Vista? Yeah. Vista? Yeah. The Blue Ridge Summit Blue Trail. Summit in some way. Yes. <laughs> there is a view there we will be stopping at. But that is the direction we're heading in now. So we have reached the end of the Hog Rock Trail. And like I said, we're going to be crossing over the main highway here that wraps through uh, Catoctin National Park. And it will take us over to the parking lot for this trail and for the uh, What's it called again? The Vista. <laughs> the uh, Vista Trail. Blue Ridge Summit God, Overlook. Jeez, why cannot remember that? Anyway, yes. You can see there's a trail sign right there. There's several trails through here that you can take. But that's where we're headed here in just a few minutes. So we are on the Blue Ridge Summit Trail right now. All right, and it kind of goes up the ridge over there. And then we're going to see, a, they're gonna, there will be a view up here that we're going to be checking out. Now, we have been on this trail before. And we have done a video, so if you guys want to go back to look at that video, you're welcome to. I met my grand, uh, grandsons and my daughter-in-law here. We went on a hike here. When was that, Shannon? Yes. Okay, so not too long ago, I don't think. Pretty sure it was over the summer that we did it. So we won't be doing a lot of videotaping here. I just wanted to share that with you. So we've made it up to the Summit Overlook here. And I'm going to bring you down here and show you the overlook it looks really different in the winter all the leaves are gone so you can see quite a bit further okay so we've reached the view you can see out in the valley farms and the homes
that we just left the uh, overlook that we were sitting and having lunch. Heading down the mountain now. So I think we have what? About two and a half miles down? Yeah, about a mile and a half. Mile and a half? Okay. Yeah. So we'll be uh, finishing out by going downhill about a mile and a half. And it should take us right back to the parking lot where we parked at the beginning of the trail. So thanks everybody for wandering out yonder with us today here in Catoctin National Park. Um, we are standing in the middle of a charcoal hearth. Yes, a charcoal hearth. Hearth. Yes. Um, I don't know if any of you know this, but this is a very um, busy industrial area from the, I think, late 1700s to late 1800s of iron ore iron ore furnace activity. Um, there is actually about, I don't know, a few miles from here, Catoctin Iron Ore Furnace. Is that the name of it? Those Catoctin down? Mountain Furnace, I think. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, um, so this was, this all of the woods around us at one point in time, they weren't here. This is all new growth forest. The lands were stripped. Anyhow, we did do some videos of the Iron Ore Furnace areas <laughs> in Catoctin. One in particular that had a um, African American um, graveyard, I guess. Cemetery that yeah. they just recently yeah, discovered. Yeah, they just recently discovered. We yeah. did a video about that last February. If you guys want to go back, or Shannon can put the link in here if you're interested in learning about that. That was a really cool uh, area I would go back to to learn a little bit more about. But anyhow, we just wanted to say thanks <laughs> for coming out with us today. We really appreciate everybody. Hope you'll subscribe. Hope you'll join us on more of our adventures. And we do appreciate everybody coming along with us. So thanks and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a happy holiday. <laughs>